Hello everyone, I am Miss Hu, your physics teacher. In this video, I'm going to go through the concept of anti-parallax mirrors. Now in this video, we're going to look at an anti-parallax mirror that is usually found in ammeters and voltmeters. In this case, we're going to be looking at the anti-parallax mirror in the ammeter. So, what is an anti-parallax mirror? An anti-parallax mirror will help us avoid parallax errors when we're taking readings with the ammeter. So, how do we use this? Now, whenever we want to avoid parallax error, we have to ensure that our eye position is perpendicular to the scale that we are reading. So the anti-parallax mirror is just a simple tool to help us ensure that we can make sure our eye is perpendicular to the scale. So how do we do this? By ensuring that when we look at the reading on the scale, we position our eye in such a way that the needle directly overlaps its own reflection in that mirror. So the anti-parallax mirror is a mirror strip that is found under the scale just like this. So when we're looking at the scale from this angle, that's how we know that we're taking the reading in the correct way where we are now avoiding parallax error. And this is the most accurate position of the eye where we can take our reading. If you were to be looking at the needle from different angles like these, you'll find that the reading obtained will be higher or lower than the actual value. So, as you can see, when we position our eye correctly so that the pointer overlaps its own reflection in the mirror, at this angle, this is the most correct position of the eye to take the reading. You can see the ammeter reading is 0.52 amperes. Now, if we were to look at the scale from this angle, we're not looking at the scale perpendicularly anymore. So you can see that the needle does not overlap its own reflection. You can see the reflection of the needle right there in the anti-parallax mirror. At this angle, you can see that the needle is now showing us a value that's lower than its actual. We're reading the value now as 0.50 amperes. Whereas if you were to look at the scale from this angle, again, we're not looking at the scale at a right angle. This is clearly evidenced by the needle not overlapping its own reflection in the anti-parallax mirror. And at this position, the reading appears to be higher than its actual value. We are now reading this as 0.54 ampere. So that's why anti-parallax mirrors are built into devices like this ammeter to assist us in avoiding parallax errors by ensuring that we can position our eye at the correct angle. All we need to do is ensure that when we're taking the reading, the needle is overlapping its own reflection, just like this. So I hope you found this video helpful in understanding a little bit more about physics lab apparatus. So don't forget to like and subscribe for more physics videos from your physics teacher, Miss Ho.